January 8 is the date that marks the ANC's birthday. The party is turning 105 years this year. The annual gathering is also a rallying call to ANC members to participate in the party's program of action for the year. These celebrations come amid infighting within the former liberation movement. President Jacob Zuma used this occasion to call for unity. Zuma says, the people have told the party that the infighting needs to stop and leaders should instead focus on growing the economy. Our people have told us that we come across as too busy fighting one another and do not pay sufficient attention to their needs. We must give our people hope. We must unite against our common enemies, which are unemployment, poverty, and inequality, and not against one another. This public acknowledgement of internal problems in the ANC is unprecedented at an event like this. Observers say this could set the tone for a strategy to try and reunite the party. We have heard our people and radical economic transformation remains at the core of our economic strategy. More decisive steps must and will be taken to promote greater economic inclusion and to advance ownership, control and real leadership of the economy by black people. Speaking on international matters, Zuma says the ANC continues to champion internationalism based on ideals of a just and equitable world. The ongoing strengthening of South-South cooperation and the growing influence of BRICS are encouraging. We are steadfast in our commitment to African unity and the achievement of a prosperous Africa. The ANC celebrates the 60th anniversary of the independence of Ghana and remains inspired by its son, Kwame Nkrumah. The ANC urges our government to continue our peacekeeping efforts and solidarity work in countries such as Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Central African Republic, and others. This January 8th statement is expected to be the last one that President Jacob Zuma delivers. The party will be electing its new leadership at its National Elective Congress in December. The jury is still out on whether the party will elect its first female leader in its 105 years of existence. Yolisan Jamela, CGTN News in Johannesburg, South Africa.